Hello again everyone, welcome to a daily run. It's been a few days, uh, as everybody knows, because everybody's been whinging, which is not true, only one person's been whinging. I will mention no names. What have we got? Oh shit, help. Run. Good. We're fine. Uh, what are we doing? We are going to the cathedral or dark room on hard mode. Uh, sorry, the chest or dark room on hard mode. So it's either uh, the blue baby fight or the lamb fight, either of which is fine. Let's use this because this is taking forever. Um, except that it means we're going to have to be strong enough by the time we get there to make that uh, happen. But it does mean we don't need to worry about the self-sacrifice room and all that crap. But it... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. It, this is all it does. It makes your shot wider. Um, yes, but it does mean we have to do Hush, sorry about that. Of course, we have to be fast enough to get to Hush and probably Bus Rush too. Um, and recently we have had some lack of success in, come on now, die, in that particular department. I'm enjoying this wide shot. Uh, holy crap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's put this here and hope we can get all three. Yes. And another bomb out of it. Maybe worth going for this too, then. And if we can, I'd like to get into that curse room. But it's not the end of the world if we can't. Uh, plus, plus, phew. But as Judas, of course, Judas start. We should have mentioned that, really. I didn't talk about it too much. Judas starts are very dangerous. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's an amazing graphic. Uh, because you start with 1 HP. As soon as you can get over that, you're good to go. How do we get over that? We pick up HP. That's not going to happen here because this boss is guaranteed to drop an orbital. Which is also pretty good because it does give us some defense against, you know, incoming shots. And when you've only got 1 HP, you want to get not hit. The good thing about Judas is that his damage that he starts off with is really good. Uh, I don't see a way of getting into the cursed room unless there's a, um, a a secret room next to it, which is what I'm going to find out now. I'm not sure why I'm going this way. It will cost us some time, and as mentioned, we've not had great luck on time in the past. We've either been able to do boss rush or hush, and we've always chosen the wrong one. <laughs> We've always gone for boss rush, whereas uh, there's not going to be a secret room there. Because there won't be a secret room if there's a way, if it's blocked in any respect. A, excuse me, I just had a donut. Because I thought that Steam was not going to let me play. Uh, no bombs anyway. I had a donut, and now it's making me hiccup a lot. <sighs> right. We have got a black heart, so we've got two HP now, one of which is going to protect our other HP. Ooh, interesting. Uh, from being hit. So we can get a deal with the devil here. Hoping it's good. You know, a worthwhile deal with the devil. Because we're going to a great effort to achieve it. We're going to try not to get hit. We're on burning basement, so it's not as easy as it sounds. Well, it's pretty easy to say don't get hit. Uh, but it's not very easy. We'll save this Aunt Sue's room. Why? We save the answers room because on a later floor we're going to want to go faster. On a big floor like Necropolis 2 for example, Depths 2, where we're fighting Mum, we've got to find the boss fight and the item room and preferably the shop if we if we can swing that too. <coughs> Excuse me, what? All in, um, all in a short period of time. So if we can use the Ansu's room to just know where we're going and not have to worry about the exploration of that floor, uh, we can we can just put it out of our minds, it's fine. Again, don't need to worry about the self-sacrifice room because we're going all that way anyway. Uh, that being said, I believe that you can get a teleportation bonus if there's a self-sacrifice room on the on the cathedral. Or uh, Do I want Shoot the Whoop? Why did I pick it up? I don't really want Shoot the Whoop, no. It's actually a pretty good item these days, but I still don't want it. Uh, if you can get a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral or on Sheol, 
Not a secret room. Whiffing out on these pretty strongly. <laughs> Shush. Uh, spirit heart. No. Fuck. Um, you can get an, exp uh, an exploration bonus, a teleportation bonus, by going to the other one. I think. But I'm not going to find out, because it would cost us quite a lot in HP. I'm hoping that if we can do really well on this, we need to go fast and we need to not get hit. And maybe we can get back in the game on the leaderboards, which we have been near the top of before, and recently we have floundered somewhere near the 500 zone. Not to jinx it, but we've still not been hit. We picked up the pentagram, which is a great damage upgrade. Ah, <laughs> this is a... This is a difficult choice. Dark Bum is an amazing item for defense, but Death Touch is such a good offense item that I basically have to take it and hope for the best that we can find some spirit hearts or a random HP upgrade or something like that later in the game. Uh, okay, you can see why that's awesome. So we'll pop this now and we'll press this to get it started and we'll just shit on everything. I'm hoping that this amount of damage that we have now got will carry us all the way. It's going to speed us up outrageously, so we don't need to worry about boss rush, and it's going to do us such a good turn in terms of damage. Should we do this? He says, immediately doing it. It's going to do such a good turn in terms of damage. Uh, it's just not worth not doing. We did get a health upgrade, which is also excellent. I'm trying to step on this. Why? The four room will re-roll all pe item pedestals on the floor. So I want to know what's in the... I want to know what's in the item room. I just got hit. <laughs> Walks into a bat. Uh, just turn away. Rewind. Undo. Control Z. I want to know what's in the item room. I want to know what's in the shop. And I want to know what the boss has got for us before we decide whether we want to step on the floor or not. Because uh, I want to know whether I want the items before we re-roll them all. What I don't know is whether they will be re-rolled when we haven't seen them yet. And I'm not going to find out. Uh, I'm going to do this the correct way because we're competing against everybody else, including Jetcree, who is currently playing. Hoping Jetcree is getting to a stage where they can, you know, get past several floors of a Judas run. This, this is one of those runs where you could easily get hit a couple of times on the first floor and just shit it out completely. In fact, one uh, champion on the first floor can just end the run. That's the way Judas goes. It is unfortunate, uh, but that's a challenge of Judas. A challenge of Judas. That is the way that particular cookie crumbleth. So hopefully Jekry has successfully got through that. If not, keep trying. Don't be discouraged, I'm hoping, is the lesson to take from that. I'll take Fanny Pack, because even though I'm trying not to get hit, I would like to be rewarded for doing so, if at all possible. Yeah, this uh, this damage is outrageous, and the size of our tears. I'm hoping everybody is cackling internally, if not externally, because I certainly am. Uh, we just need to keep away from explosions and things. Try not to take any damage, and we should be able to get ourselves a decent time. I would very much like, since I have everything, I'm going to ask for something. More speed. speed. I haven't found the item room. We'll go back and find that, I suppose. Do we need to use Book of Belial? No. Am I going to use Book of Belial? Hells yeah! I didn't realise that Pupula Duplex actually gives you spectral tears, which is the one where you can shoot over rocks and things. Ah, yeah, dick. Look at that. Do you know what? I have still not got the hang of peep fights. After all this time, I still get hit by those fucking eyes. But we're done, we've got some excellent HP upgrade right here, and we will go in here and fight Krampus. Which is kind of what I was hoping for, but I didn't say so. The reason being, I don't want to spend any more HP on my devil deals, if I can avoid it, please. At least for a couple of floors, maybe. Wow, we nearly got hit there, but... And we got the correct item, so everything is coming up millhouse right now, if I'm being honest. Let's go and find the item room. We did want the item from the boss, and we did want the item from the devil. Not that we had a choice about whether to keep the item from the devil. Because there's a good chance we wouldn't have been able to get back into the devil room had we wanted to re-roll the item in it with the four room. So, it's good that it was what we wanted. 
That is for Shizzle. Uh, I do not want that. Because it means that every single tier that we have will have a random effect applied to it. This seems like a decent shortcut for getting the fuck out of here. Let's get back to our forum a little bit more quickly and go and see if our item room re-rolls into something we give a shit about. Stepping on the forum in three, two, boom. Right. Yeah, I'm not a fan of fruitcake. It's kind of like three dollar bill, except there's a much wider selection of tear effects to fuck you over. And I don't like that either. <laughs> uh, and every single tier is different, so you can't sort of get used to it and spend the time in between, sort of waiting for the the effect to change. So. With $3 bill, if $3 bill gives you fire mine, for example, you've got three seconds or so of fire mine tears, so you adjust, you deal with the fire mine tears, and then you move on until the next one. But with fruitcake, not so much. Every tier is different, so you can't you can't adjust your game style every three seconds, you just have to... Wow, how did I not die there? Good question. Just have to suck it and see. Uh, we're slowing down... We're going slower than I'd like. Let's put it that way. Uh, most of this is a chronic inability to actually hit enemies with our tears, despite the fact that they are almost literally covering the entire screen with each shot. And part of this is, I kind of want a tears upgrade and a speed upgrade. Just the go a bit faster upgrades that, that you get. The, the ones where your game goes from strong but, you know, Punching through water, I feel, is what we're doing right now. I want to be punching in the air. We've got a Gurdy fight. We've got our... Uh, let's get rid of these nubs first. Now, we know how Gurdy fights work. I say, Gurdy's easy. You just dodge. And then I get hit by one of those stupid attacks. So, let's try not to do that. Uh, and I'm very tempted to use Cuban Meat here. But also, I should not. A Cuban Meat can do us a lot of good right now. Yeah, there you go. It's very easy to just walk full tilt <laughs> into Gurdy. It's happened all the time, don't worry. Don't worry if it happens to you, don't worry if it happens to me. Uh, we just picked up an HP upgrade, which I'm actually happy with. Uh, and then I stood on that and lost it. That's <laughs> it's just the stupidest damage. I've not taken any damage as a result of enemies. I've taken damage as a result of walking into things that are in plain view. But honestly, I'm feeling very encouraged by this run, despite the, the couple of foolish mistakes that I have made and I will own up to. Two of spades. You might as well use that now because we're about to open this. Two of spades doubles the number of keys you have. Uh, I don't think our battery is good enough. We might as well buy the spirit heart and skedaddle. Car battery causes, when you use the space bar, it, it doubles the effects, usually. Um, and when I say usually, I mean I think almost every item, every space bar item, it has that effect on. Except one or two that have specific exceptions. But when you have an item like the Book of the Lyle, using it a second time doesn't actually have any effect. Uh, so having two of them, it doesn't help. And I'm kind of thinking that keeping the Book of the Lyle, it's going to be a long-term uh, assistance. We're doing a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. We don't necessarily need it. But, uh... Oh. I think that not having it would be worse than having it. There's another situation where I do not give a shit. Explosive diarrhea. I wish I didn't <laughs> run away. But it's safe. Uh, I'm going to skedaddle. I want to be out of here by just now. We're going too slowly to get... You know, we're backtracking too much and we can't afford to. I'm holding down the walk button, which I know is going to end up with me stepping on spikes, but that's fine. We're at 13 minutes. It's not the end of the world. I think this is... Yeah, Caves 2. So we've got seven minutes to get to Boss Rush. I'm thinking the thing is that although we're doing really well on time now... I'm going to use the, this here, actually. Yeah, because I would have gone south and I don't want to, <laughs> apparently. Um, we're doing some damage, that's true. We're doing a decent amount of damage on a room-to-room -room basis, but it's not going to drag us through Boss Rush at a super speed, which is kind of what I want to happen. Uh, whoops. I walked into the fire. Don't do that. Do not recommend it. Uh, supposed to diarrhea, no, and three quest marks for you. Our energy, that's just okay and good to know that we have. And uh, Fanny Pack gave us that bomb because we took damage walking in. 
fan effect just drops shit when you take damage, basically. Uh, sure, we're not going to re-roll it, and it can do more good than harm, I guess. Man, having uh, spectral tears in this situation is really good. Don't have to worry about the big fires, uh, the shooting fires. We don't have to, oh, hello, spiders. We could get some decent stuff out of these, so I will explode them. The magician is not one of them. The devil is not one of them, because that does the Book of Belial effect, which we already have, so we don't need it. And that's just a shitload of, <laughs> shitload of skills from one bomb. Thanks. Uh, jinkies. Gee fucking willikers. Uh, I was hoping for some money <laughs> from that. I don't really care. Uh, I'm just trying to get this uh, this floor done quickly, really. <clears throat> if we can have five minutes to do uh, the next floor, the important one with boss rush at the end of it, we at least give ourselves the opportunity to start boss rush early and therefore have time at the end of it uh, to oh, to get into hush, basically. I say basically, that's exactly what I wanted for. Health down is not what I want. We'll take emergency contact. What does emergency contact do? Uh, it summons those mom hands and they drag an enemy away. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's better than everything else. Rune bag. Ugh. Rune bag is what you need on any other run. But unfortunately on this run, we're already committed to going all the way to the... Shit, you're going fast. Stop that. Holy crap. Why is this happening? This has never happened before. Suddenly I can't get away from this thing. This is why we need a speed upgrade. Because I'm I'm too slow to run away from this mask, and the mask was just doing some bullshit things, and I don't know why I didn't use Book of Belial. Never mind. We didn't take red heart damage on this whole floor. Uh, there's another HP upgrade, which I will take. It's not going to be a Krampus fight, but it's not going to be any items either. Hmm. I mean, ideally, correctly, I suppose, we should have taken the HP upgrade after we've been in there, just to see if we wanted to buy stuff and sort of cheese an extra one out of it. It's min-maxing to the point of point of boredom at that stage. I don't really give a shit that much. Uh, and I hope you don't either. I didn't do the uh, the mob trap room on the previous floor. I'm aware of that. It was in the wrong direction. I wanted to make up a lot of time. We don't know what this is, so we'll have it. Toxic Shock is a brilliant item. What does Toxic Shock do? Uh, it does that poison damage that you can see. It just shits on everything as soon as you walk into a room, basically. So now we have probably plenty of time to explore this entire floor. Uh, which which was the goal. There is a Tinted Rock in there, but I don't really necessarily want to try and get it. Oh, you're a Brimstone one, are you? Well, fine. We have taken a bit more damage than I would have liked. But not nearly as much damage as I've taken on previous runs. So I'm at once mildly upset about the damage I've taken and hugely pleased at the damage I haven't taken. So, uh, excuse me, I shot this fire enough for it to be dead. I'm not going to waste time with... <laughs> I'm just going to shoot these. Blow these up individually, not worry about the TNT barrels. Get the, uh, get the stuff out of them. Oh, hello. Thank you. And leave. I get the stuff, it's points. Burnt Penny there is going to give us a bomb at random if we pick a penny up. Oh, we've lost all our spirit hearts, which is a shame. But never mind. Ah, uh, yeah. Burnt Penny occasionally gives us bombs when we pick up pennies, which is great because more bombs is more points. It's just a, it's just consumable. More consumables you pick up, the more points you get. And if you have something that's producing consumables from other consumables, you're basically quids in. Now here's the thing. I want to go to the seek the curse room, but I don't have any spirit hearts, so I can't do it without taking damage. If I take red heart damage, I don't get a deal with the devil at the end of this floor. If I don't get a deal with the devil, oops, that was really stupid. Uh, I'm gonna be super salty and sad, so maybe a black heart. Nope. Uh, this is a greed fight, not what I'm after. I was hoping for some spirit hearts in here if I'm... Bah! I took damage anyway. Well, in that case, I guess we just deal with it and go to the curse room. Fair enough. Game, you've you've solved my problem for me by fucking about. Also, Toxic Shock causes enemies to leave a little bit of creep when they die. I have yet to find that useful, if I'm being honest. Okay, more this way to find that we don't know what we're doing. 
The compass. Fine. One more set. No. Yeah, dick. So I've taken red heart damage. We weren't likely to get a deal with the devil anyway because we got one on the last floor. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about it too, too much. However, an Ansus rune or a Yarrow rune. The Yarrow rune will double all consumables on the ground. The pockets is pretty decent. So now we can have both. So never mind. I'm tempted to Yarrow that spirit heart, but at the same time, I don't really care to. Now we can have a Yarrow rune and an Ansus rune because deep pockets lets us collect both of those things. I'm going to the curse room very quickly and then I'm going to try and get through the mom fight ASAP. Uh, that was no good. I'm not even going to pick up the bombs because I don't care. <sighs> I'm thinking we can do the mom fight really quickly. So I'm not worried about how long it's going to take us to get there. But I am slightly salty that we haven't had a single speed upgrade on this entire game. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit sad. There's that thing we don't want. And we'll move through here. Having an orbital really helps with the mom fight because mom spends a lot of time on the ground stamping on you like a dick. Because uh, dicks do that. I don't know if you've you know, seen dicks, but stamping is what they do a lot. Wow. Took damage. It's fine. Uh, I'm not too interested in not taking damage, to be honest. As long as we can get, get it done in time. Definitely not getting a deal with the devil, so we don't need to worry about that, I suppose. And another rune, because we have rune bag. It's Bacano, so we can use it straight away. Yera, and we've got the negative, so it turns out we're going to Sheol. And here's four things we don't know. Do you want the spiky one, the spiky one, the spiky one, or the spiky one? Might as well go for this one. It's Maggie's bow. Uh, that's alright, actually. We're not going for a low HP type of run. We haven't got anything that benefits from not having HP. Like Hora Babylon or Empty Vessel. Well, you're not dying as fast as I would like, actually, if you would care to rectify this. Thank you. So, having HP is good. Magius Bow gives us that HP upgrade, but also all HP that we pick up, red HP, you know, the hearts that refill the containers, do twice as much good for us. I think I've already used this, but I'm using it again anyway. On the off chance that it's worth it. That one's dead. And then we can get rid of this in record time. It hit me anyway. Actually, you're not dying nearly as fast as I would like you to. This is what I was afraid of earlier on when I mentioned it. Is that, um... Holy shit! That was an amazing shot. We're not fast enough to run away from these enemies, and... We're not doing enough damage to sort of make it fast. We only picked up Maggie's bow. It's not... Wow, how little damage am I doing to this thing? Look at it. Of course, if you stop fucking jumping, that would be brilliant. So we're not kicking it out of the water. We're not we're not going so fast that we're going to be done with boss rush in a couple of minutes. Right? So, yeah, hush is now a, a difficult proposition. We're going to have to go super fast. We do have an answer's rune to get us through one of the two floors, so we know which way not to go. Blank rune did a perthro, which was not ideal. Didn't really help. Her throw rarely helps. Uh, well, her throw can help. It's situational. Had we picked up maybe a spacebar item so that we could put it back down? But even then, I don't want to walk over the spikes to get the per throw version of it. No, don't slow me down. I'm already fucking slow enough. You bastard. Let's uh, try and tempt that gurgling to hit me in that direction. Wow. I'm trying to kill death, but it's refusing to succumb to my wiles. We could die here. I'm being honest. Um, I have no way of regenerating HP, and we're doing so little damage. For saying how amazing our shots appear to be, they're not that great. They're really not that great. We do have 10 bombs, which could come through in the clutch for us. We just need to survive this, and then we'll be okay. But we do have a long way to go, and this is a <laughs> lamb run. We have to beat the lamb. And all we've got... <laughs> You fucking dick. We've got to be at the lamb like this. You know, we're not going to get much stronger on the next couple of floors. We've only got boss items to carry us. Hey, what else? We could just leave. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it's a fucking crawl space as well. Uh, don't know how to deal with this, so I'm just going to hope for the best. Wow. What hit me? There is nothing there. 
I shit you not, nothing was there. Oh, I stepped on the fucking spikes. That was bullshit, man. You were there. That was bull fucking shit. Well, a bit rusty. You know, Judas run's not easy, and that was not a strong run. We were very slow. We didn't have a lot of damage. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow. Maybe I'll be allowed to do it tomorrow, because Steam decided that today I wasn't gonna. Uh, I'm kind of wishing <laughs> it continued to tell me not to bother, but... Yeah, it was, it was a, an okay run, and I'm glad to have participated, and I'm glad that you watched. And I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please come back tomorrow, or whenever I next bother, uh, just to... I, I might just randomly not do them just to wind you all up. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to flip a coin, and tomorrow, if it comes up heads, I'll flip a coin to decide whether that means I'm going to do it or not. See ya.